you in Nigeria are not grateful for what you have or what you've acquired and then you feel some type of way about it, just ask yourself, um, am I doing good? Am I doing alright? That's not the question we're going to ask you on the show today. We're not going to ask you what you've achieved from January up until this point. We're just going to ask you, hey my friend, how are you? Um, good morning and welcome to What's Up on Galaxy Television. This is where stars are born. This is where stars are made. And of course, it's um, a very beautiful Wednesday, October the 2nd. Um, how fast this year has run. And um, in another two months, um, we'll be saying um, Merry Christmas and then a Happy New Year. I hope whatever it is that's going on with you, you figure it out quickly and then you learn properly. Learn. To love anyway on the show um it's the 269th edition or episode of whatsapp on galaxy television and i told you guys something that um um one year ago <coughs> i've been doing broadcasting for a lot of years but one year ago i started working on galaxy television or at galaxy television so it's today makes it my one year anniversary working in galaxy television and trust me um, all I can say is I'm grateful. Um, it's been a very good ride, a very jolly ride. There's been ups, there's been down, but so far so good. God has made sure um, that everything has come to fruition. I'm very grateful. I'm happy. Um, I want to say a big thank you to my team, everyone around me, um, everyone who's made this feel special. I will keep doing my best. To the fans who keep watching and supporting us, God bless you guys. Now on the show today, you ask if you're just tuning <coughs> in for the first time, what is WhatsApp on Galaxy Television all about? Now it's a program that was um, created or birthed basically for the Gen Z's aged between 16 to at least 26 to 27. This is where we bring anything, music, entertainment, fun, we just, just name it and then it's here. Also, we do movie reviews, we do um, celebrity gist, we do fashion and style, we do trending issues, and of course the icing and the cake is when we do have a special guest appearance in the studio. Now this person we have in the studio today, you guys don't want to know who he is, but before we do that, I just want to tell you guys that in the studios today, we also have a very delectable woman, we call her the African Queen. Um, before I give full introductions, you know who I am, they call me Obina Kenneth. But for some of you, it's Orali Baby, that's A U R A L W E, and I'm the comedy vibes machine. You know, now the comedy sugar daddy of Lagos, they also call me the big size teddy bear. I only <laughs> hug, I only hug women. Any man who comes near me, I'm gonna give it to you. <laughs> Right. Oh, thought, you know how it is. <laughs> We're straight like that, please. Oh, anyway, um, help me, Lagos, Nigeria. Welcome to the studio, my co anchor on the show, um, Omevi Idolo. How are you, darling? Yes, when you introduce me, you clap. I will not do such a thing, it's never going to happen. After clapping, second day, my name is Omevi <laughs> I don't know you will lay. You will never lay. I will never. You will never. Ever. <laughs> good morning, Lagos. Good morning, Nigeria. Good morning to you, wherever you watch from, whether you're in the continent of Africa or other continent. Good morning to you because we are morning here in Nigeria. And welcome to WhatsApp. Of course, we always tell you that this is the program where entertainment has made its abode and we give you the best of the best when it comes to entertainment, when it comes to music, when it comes to anything in the creative industry. And uh, Aurelie did not introduce himself very well. He forgot to add two of his AKAs, which is Pichu Pichu and <laughs> Sherry Coco. You know, I always ask really? that. Never. Those I reject them Those vehemently. Sherry. So when you see him on the road, you can call him Sherry Coco. Oh, oh, oh my pocho pocho. No you guys should call me Sherry Coco. I will see. The guy will call you Sherry Coco. This is like DJ skills now. We see the road. I say my pocho pocho. Before you do finish. <laughs> this is what's up. We always have fun here. You know, I always tell you that if you're doing something, you wake up in the morning, you want to go to work, and you are growing late, or you're not feeling good about what you're doing, then you're in the wrong job. Mm -hmm. We are always excited coming here anytime, any day. This is what we do, this is what we live for. So let you know whatsapp is streaming right now on facebook so if you have the opportunity to be in front of your screen or at the front of your screen watching us right now you tell someone to tell another person including your enemies that we're streaming live so you just go to facebook 
and search for Galaxy TV Entertainment and you're going to see WhatsApp. You're going to see my beautiful face and the handsome orally and the picture picture guest that we have in the studio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> then we are on Star Time Channel 110. So you got that if you're a cable subscriber. But if you're not subscribing to any of the cable TV, of course, we're on channel UHF 27. So you just tune your antenna a little to the left to the right to the front and to the back and you're going to see us there we are there and of course you can download the galaxy app from uh, your ios or your google play store into all your mobile devices and of course you'll be able to catch up with all of the amazing programs packed together for your viewing pleasure of course we have a whole lot of them from a uh, family of value to whatsapp which is the most entertaining program so uh, the boss hula hula women's corner anyone that you want to watch you have a whole lot of program even if you want to watch movies and that includes your movies we have all of them cartoons packed. cartoons for kids yeah so we have all of them packed together for your viewing pleasure so no one is left out of course it's a general interest in the station so you are covered well, right now, oh my God, like I always do, we have a fine boy in the studio. Oh, let me put it. You are damn right shameless. I know. You have said that to I me. I said that to you so many times. Me, you still won't learn. You still won't learn. I will not learn. No, no, no. This part, I don't like. We have a fine boy in the studio. Fine game, game boy. He is, oh my God. If I show, mm, I'm not, I'm, try, I'm trying not to let it cut. Oh. Out, out of, of the bag or, or the bag out of the cart or the, the bag out of the cart. All, right, <laughs> <laughs> all right yes um so far so good we're about to shut it down because it's time for pure unadulterated entertainment yeah. and um <coughs> I'm, I'm getting to go because we do have someone special in the studio and um, before we introduce him would like to go on this quick break stay here stay liquid and don't go far up on galaxy television i was out yesterday somewhere on the island in ikoyi precisely and while i was having a few drinks with a couple of my friends one thing rang in my head and i kept singing this particular song now the song is not out yet and i don't know when this artist this amazing artist will be dropping that song i feel like i'm the only one in nigeria who's privy to that song because i play it everywhere i am and i never say who sang it but i hope you guys get to understand what it is now on the show today um it's often said that if you want to go fast you go alone but if you want to go far you go with everybody and everyone is who we're taking on the show today um this person we have in the studio has done so much in music um, he's an old timer he's also a new cat if you want to merge both of them together someone who understands symphony and um, the harmony in the melody this man has done so much he is in fact to me a legend um, a huge big-time artist someone who has gone far beyond over and under um from Lagos State Nigeria where he came to do um, promotions for his music his He's done it in the east from the east east he left nigeria and he did it outside nigeria he's still doing it outside nigeria and then he came back to the motherland to say hey this is where it all started and this is where i would finish everyone with good music <laughs> ladies and gentlemen boys and girls lagos nigeria world help me welcome help us welcome help us up welcome to the studio this man is a big fish in your bad time is called ejala welcome to the studio <laughs> Major! Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yo! Yo! You look at fly as hell, yeah, my bro. Yeah, I can see why Omovi is drooling. She usually deserves yeah. me on the show nah. when we have someone Omovi. And I expect you to have been used to that, anyways, just as he said. <laughs> Let me talk to somebody. Oh, you will take him over. Yeah. I will spoil the job. Hold on. Hold on. Look at me. I'm looking at you. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clap for you, anyways, because <laughs> you didn't want to clap. Yeah. I'm gonna clap. I'm doing shit. And, and congratulations <laughs> to you, my man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. Maybe you say congratulations to me. Nice. Don't mind that. Yes, he knows I'm going to admire your issues because Thank he knows yes, I love. Yes, she does that I, I love. I, I, I love uh, men with beautiful feet. Ooh. So It's a turn on for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. <laughs> now, he right. knows I always admire his feet. Right. He knows. And I think the term African queen actually suits you because of All your... Right. It's loud. It's yeah, loud. Your, your draw, you know, your demeanor. <laughs> you know, the whole... No, African, you know, no, no. Yeah. I 
completely <laughs> agree with that. Already? <laughs> oh, God. Are you paying? She roped him <laughs> into her way. <laughs> And it's, it's <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give you a quick preview rundown the biograph and profile of who we do have in the studio this morning. His name is E Major Born in Mika Jeremiah Naji. He's a Nigerian Afro fusion and Afro Arabic singer, songwriter, and musician who lives in America. His music is regarded as eclectic with influences from a variety of various genres, primarily pop, RB, hip hop high life and contemporary gospel i love that part most especially image was the lead singer for the band sound city featuring artists such as flavor nabania and chris Adore. he is the youngest of nine children born to a local businesswoman and a civil servant father he founded the five member a cappella group lace in 1996 during the era of lord eli now known as two face in Divya, uh, or two baba now he then departed to america where he established himself as a contemporary inspirational musician and also led the choir at churches like christ family church international in 2019 he major signed with motion major records and has released numerous body of works including singles an ep and a few other feature songs on which he's collaborated with other afrobeat stars e major who is continually improving on his musical genuinity is constantly using his lyrics to explore the themes of love struggle joy and success he's also had major notable collaborations with wandiko utiwachiku um, unlimited la reward beats peruzi cc director dindu white money and ugwezi um ukweze. yeah that's an evil word now he's done so much yeah. and um just to add to it his um single is out right now titled bolo <laughs> mm. oh my god lagos nigeria you've never ever seen something like this whatsapp is is exploding right now we're doing so much so i'm yeah. um, on the show today we'll be asking you a couple of questions sure. um first off i'd like to say welcome again to the studios um yeah. you came in quite early so we're Thank so you. glad yeah, to have so you yes that, that, that was that was impression and then we, we do have or oh, maybe Bella who um i don't know uh, is going to kidnap you sorry for using that word <laughs> home because oh. you, can't, you can't see fine men and just yes, exactly oh she's going to move you. oh my god oh, you know, you're in trouble see, <laughs> just, the very first question in major yes. was that name coined from the keyboard or from where you're right about that actually mm -hmm. so that's part of it so okay, it's yes. the e major like the e major note and yeah uh, uh, the keyboard uh but it also stands for my first name at mecca mm. oh yeah, so okay uh, mecca major i know e major because even the song uh bolo was sang in e major key so Mm. Most of my songs is usually in E major, so mm, that, that's beautiful <laughs> because yes, yeah. the, that's name got me E major. Yeah. yeah, that is very very good. So let's go back to the beginning of this whole journey. I don't want this man to talk too much because oh, because she feels like I know you. <laughs> 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 yes, I don't, he's going to ask you a couple of questions. You've been in this industry for a long, very long time. Time. Yes, ma'am. 1996 having a band as at 1996 that's i don't know where i was i know but <laughs> that was a long time you know, yes. i don't want to say where you were though <laughs> where, where were you i don't want to say where <laughs> you know, oh my god 1996 that was a long time ago how yes. has the journey been uh, excuse me the journey has been great um i have um it's i like to say it's an opportunity to learn you know being with a band uh, you get to uh, learn uh, how to remember different songs, different skill set, you know, different ways of kind of presenting yourself when you're singing songs, right? Yeah. Um, I, we, we used to have about 6,000 repertoires of songs, and you need to remember the songs. Yeah. You know the number, when they say number one, number two, you know what song it is, you know the lyrics, and you can just start singing it, right? Yeah. So, um, and then you can connect with your fans, you know, one-on-one uh, -on -one with that. So I'm specifically uh, especially like live music because that's when you get to kind of connect with yeah. your fans um so all those experiences have really 
you know, made me who I am today. Because, you know, it gives you the ear for music. You know, um, like, you know, it says in my bio, I'm very eclectic when it comes to music. Okay. So that's because of the fact that I have, you know, delved into different genres yeah, of music. Yeah, uh, High life, you know, R&B, which was my gospel, main gospel. Contemporary yeah. gospel. Yeah. 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 So that gives you, like, a, it doesn't box you up in a corner. Because yeah. you can actually do whatever it is you want to do and express yourself in music. So, yes. Wow, that's beautiful. Oh, I love that so much. Now, um, so far, so good. You started way back. Now, um, you've had major collaborations with a whole lot of artists. But before that, um, tell us, what were the challenges you faced getting into music, starting up music? You know, you came from a very humble background, yeah. um, right. from a local businesswoman. Mm -hmm. That's right. And, and a civil servant's father. Yes. How was it when you started music and what were the challenges you faced? Oh. And how were you able to get out of all these challenges unscathed? Wow. Well, first of all, I'd like to give all thanks and praises to the Most High. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, apart from Him, I don't think we can do anything. Yeah. True. I mean, so, and that's how I got a away from all those different challenges but nevertheless you know god is going to do what he's going to do but you're going to do what you need to yeah. do on earth. Mm. you know what i'm saying so and and um it was you know i, I, I might add my mom um also was a nurse worked at U, uh, unth wow. and she was she had that she had a lot she was doing a whole lot you know as a woman you know and and that's why i felt the need to have my first single be noma which is I dedicated to my mom because wow. and also to the women in the world because oftentimes women are not really given the accolade and the respect that they actually deserve right mm -hmm. um, all through history right so um, I felt the need to actually do that so I mean it was it's been difficult you know challenging looking for people to uh, sign you and get you mm -hmm. get some kind of notoriety mm -hmm. you know um, and having been turned down or having been used, I, there was a time, yeah. like my second song I came out with called um, Malugo. The reason why I wrote the song was because I had um, someone from Dome Records back then that wanted to sign me and my group, my acapella group. And um, he was like, okay, um, trying to give us deals that wasn't really uh, favoring us, but really favoring them or him, right? And I, I caught on to it like real quickly. You know, though I was poor and everything, but you know, my pride was always there. Mm -hmm. So I told my group, I, I, I don't like this deal. I'm not, we're not going to sign it, right? Mm -hmm. And then and I wasn't the leader of the group, but my, my uh, colleagues kind of looked up to me that way. Mm -hmm. You know, so when I, I backed out, they all kind of backed out, right? And then and the guy told me, you're always going to be poor. You're never going to amount to nothing. Mm -hmm. That's why the song is called Onye Chimeleze Eze Koga Abo. Yeah! That's why I said that. You that know? is very key. I broke, I broke no be poverty. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's why I said that in that song, right? So because I'm trying to tell him, listen, just because he made this comment, I'm going to be walking around with flip-flops, mm -hmm. you know, all my life. Not, <laughs> that's what he said. Yeah. That's what he said, right? Wow. So but I didn't let that stop me. So I had some of those obstacles, you know, um, people not believing in you, but, you know, uh, as time would have it, I kept honing in my skills with the band, with church, with acapella group, doing all I knew because I believe that opportunity favors them that are ready. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. If you're not ready, when opportunity comes, what can you do? Mm. You know yeah. What I'm so, and as soon as you know, I knew it, you know, after school, I went to America, and from there, you know, um, started my business, you know, finished my college, my university, and then. Um, by the time I knew it, with you know, worked for um, several companies and then started my own business. Mm -hmm. Now it was time for me to now do what I want to do yeah. in music, you know. And I don't have to now sign to Motion Major Records. I don't have to beg anybody, ask mm -hmm. anybody to please sign me or whatever. You know, I believe it was the right time. So yeah. that's how come I did that. Yeah, that that, oh that, that is God. growth. That is growth. Mm -hmm. the, the the ability to let someone hold you back. Right. Where it's it's yeah. in, in fact or in that's growth. Actually. So some people just come at you and tell you. I, I always tell them you're not God. You look at someone and say, Hey, you, you're going to wear flip flops all your life. Yeah, you're you not going to amount to anything. Yeah. You're yeah. going to be down all your life. Who are you to say such a thing to exactly. someone? Who are you? Now the person is nobody and he is everybody, right? That's right. Yeah. That's, that's, that's right. to tell you that you should never ever look down on anybody. Anyway, um, we'll go to one more question and then maybe yeah. has you. Now, um, you can't be boxed. You do all types of music. That's right. Now, 
in terms of motivation and inspiration mm -hmm. for all the types of music you do where do you get it mm. my inspiration and motivation has always been my um my background and my upbringing because i mean i've had like i said the high lives i used to listen to i still listen to celestine Uku cool wow. and you know um olivani kokwe mm. or sandebe you know ali chukum all these different people's songs because these are deep spiritual songs yeah. Yeah. in our culture right um um and then sonny ade and all of them you know these people have Sonia Kosin they have these really nice uh, inspirations right so for me um, I take that into myself in my life and what I do and then when I'm writing songs it comes out from that perspective because you can only give what you have you yeah. can't give what you don't have that's true you know out of the fullness of the heart the mouth speaks right yeah. so that's really how it works for me Wow. That's beautiful. You were in an acapella group or you created one, right? Yes. Good. So it means that you can do any kind of song with that there are, it's it is accompanied with instruments or, or not. not. You yes. can deliver, right? Absolutely. I play guitar and piano. So yes. So you can actually sing without these instruments, right? Absolutely. You do one right away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, not uh, 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 hey, uh, 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 to ask me about I'm to ask you Even though she knows I'm struggling from a car, right? She want to put me on the spot like that. Oh my goodness. Already a passion. I thought I already was going to do it. No way. Are you going to do one song for more? You thought I bury you, he's going to get in a lot of trouble. I ain't going to say that. Oh my goodness. For me. This for Moi. The song mm. is for you. The song is gonna sing that yeah, is for you. Mm. You. Yeah. Mm. 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 It's the reason how you knock me off my feet. Yes. Mm. Every time you come around me, I can be no no baby. Mm. Nobody ever made me feel this way. Oh, you look at me and then you took my breath away. So I wanna know. 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 I you want to stand up around me? No, no, no. What's the meaning of this process? What is the meaning of this process? The only reason I'm not standing up right now is because I'm wearing a mic. Oh, no. I'm not hug him. You almost stood up. I almost. So hug. I almost. Image of. Yes. Yes. Image of a like that. What's the meaning of this process? Now, already, this is not a studio mix. This is not when uh, DJ Skis is doing. Let me see. This, <laughs> this is really original. From the, like, did you hear the voice? Now I like it when people, when you come here and say, I can sing. Yes. I just like to get. No, orally, tell me now. Yeah. If you said now, woman, you could love her. Oh, oh yeah, I love him with the Jesus kind of love. <laughs> Amen, Amen, my brother. Thank you, sir. Amen to that, yes. bro. <laughs> I was, I, was playing, I, was, I was playing one of the songs on radio yeah. that hasn't been released yet and someone came into the studio and, and was like I've been listening to this song from the car who sang it? I was like I need to tell you he was like tell me because the song is yeah. different from any song that Nigerians do now, this is such a, a, a good it's, song. It's, he's, he's a performer. Yeah. He is, he's an entertainer. Anyway, he is, and this one opens his mouth to sing. You're wild, and that's exactly what it is. Yeah, now, now, it's so original. Now, when you have yeah. someone who understands what um, the business is in the music, and the music is in the business, someone who is super talented, his range of versatility just wows anyone yeah. who listens. And then when you look at someone who knows how to use his voice, he just modifies a lot of things, even if they might seem cumbersome at that time. Now, he's, he started from a very poor background, but if you look at him today, 
he has done so much well for himself and yet um he's still going to do more now i'd like to introduce you to his new single out on all social media um outlets where you can listen to good music the title of this one is bolo and it is by e major i call him the maker y'all listen and then we'll be right back i've been jumping up in the studios everyone who's listened to the song has I feel like this is the first time on the show that we played a song by an artist till the end. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> enjoyed this one. The title of that song is Bolo and it is currently trending on all, every, everywhere you want to go. Um, Boom Play, Audio Mag, anywhere, YouTube. Just, just search E Major Bolo and then you can have it. Now, um, it brings me to this very important <coughs> question. Yes, sir. I saw some dance moves in there. Oh, everybody moving like this. Yeah. Okay. Is there, is there like a dance challenge for the song, or is it in the works? Because I don't know. I, I need to vibe to this and create <laughs> content as well because I love it. Yeah, yeah. There, there, there is actually a challenge on TikTok right now. Are you serious? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. I need to get my dancing shoes. <laughs> I want more money. <laughs> but you know what I love about this music. Yes. Right? It blends into uh, any kind of generation. Yeah, that's right. Anybody can vibe to the song. Anybody, right. whether right. you're old or young, you can be. Of course, you can be holding a green bottle or a black bottle, and yeah. of course, you're vibing to it. Oh yeah, now you understand awesome, what I awesome, mean. Or some tequila when uh, you just yeah. want to just take it. Oh, you understand. And then <laughs> you know, it, and, anywhere I go, I would tell any DJ. So we have something I want you to play. And then when they play Ida Bolo, <laughs> everywhere just goes crazy. This man knows yeah, how to it, say it. It's, it's a very good song. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank so you. what motivated the song? What's the inspiration behind it? The inspiration? Ah, I think the, the thing that actually really did it well was Mastercraft being on the beat. Okay. Uh, because he, he was the producer. Wow. So um, once he started doing his thing and we heard that beat we're like whoa this is it because mm -hmm. um, you know some songs come out of it you know inspiration some songs just kind of come because you're just vibing to the song mm -hmm. and there are certain words that just kind of click you know and if that word just becomes really sturdy mm -hmm. you know in your mind then you build up on that oh and that's pretty much how it happened so it was like when it was going on the way you do me i don't know and make me dance, yeah, we go. You know, everything just, just started flowing from there. It was, it was the beat. And you can attest that, you know, once the beat starts, you know, it makes you want to dance, especially with the Ama Piano yeah. you know, uh, coming into it, it. It just gets you in the groove. So, yeah. Okay. And now, there's this part of the song. And um, the question is is what Omevi is going to ask you. Oh. I, I ain't going to ask you that. Oh. It says, I used to be a player. Ah. <laughs> but. <laughs> I retire like Tarpino. <laughs> he used to be a player, but he retire like Tarpino. Why did you retire? Why did you? Why did you retire? 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 Why Yes, I'd like to read this. Oh, 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 no, no, now that you have changed your voice, yes, I'd like, like, like to read this. Oh, so, so you said you retired. <laughs> Was that for oh, you? Or just no? Uh -uh. Mm. Let me not put words. I'm not asking it. I'm not asking it. Uh, 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 question here. When did you retire? Uh, <laughs> I'm she's sorry. being very specific yes. about when I retired. Retire. She's mm. telling me like that, you know. Um, mm -hmm. This, this this business. Uh, Are you sure you have retired? It's, it's, you know, I I hung my boots. Ah, you know, and that's why I'm wearing shoes. Hold on, you're not sure you have retired. You may be oh, right, I'm not sure you have retired. Oh, right, yeah. sure oh, right, yeah. But yeah, but yeah, but yeah, 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 you don't look your age. Yes. First of all, you're young. You look very young. Maybe an older person in a very young person's butt. 
You Thank understand? You. Good. Because you look good, you smell good, you dress well. You have smelt it. Keep quiet. <laughs> How do you? Hey. Yes, hey. of course. Hey. Hey. No. Now, no. 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 now with your height and your build, you now go. They now give you a microphone to come and perform. Mm. To come and shoot a music video. And you see people here. Hey! You not hold the microphone like this, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, people <laughs> like you. See it. People of the yeah. caliber. You're not singing performing. <laughs> and you see those ladies we remove clothes. Stop. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> In the show! Oh and that's oh, that it. <laughs> ah, you're shouting your goodness. The goodness was said the truth here. No. You see, you see, see a lot of shade. <laughs> 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 and so we will come and tell you, image, can I have your autograph? Yes. Say, okay, let me sign it here. No, 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 no. Sign it here. Oh. Oh, okay, that. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it's it's all for the love of the fans. You know, okay. I still gotta just love them and, you know, indulge and basically just, hey, okay, you want some autograph? I'm gonna give you some autograph. No, um, yeah, 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 like this. He's yeah. gonna sign this. Yeah. Hey, my fans are my fans. I, I do, I, I'm, I'm here to serve them. <laughs> <laughs> Those boots, men will stain your wife. Ah, I don't know what say. He said for the love of that he was because he's the ladies. I just, you know, I'm, I'm a very kind person. Yeah. I am I <laughs> Oh my god. I understand you very uh, uh, very you need job. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's okay. So yes. Uh, let's move right. to your favorite food. I love the mm. fact that you you've never left your roots behind. You always That's come all. back to your roots. Absolutely. When you spoke emo just now, I so much love the the way it sounded. Yes. You speak you still know how you still remember this is where i came from now oh, let's yeah. come back to your food yeah. do you still enjoy these are uh, um nigerian food or you're not used to the food in the west are you kidding Western me? World. Mm. or just tell us about your favorite food and all that my favorite food is always going to be a goosey soup and <laughs> anytime any day with um with um pounded yam mm. or apple that's my favorite, you know, because it's the best. You know, it's, it's so white, man, and it's smooth when it goes in your, you know, your throat. Yeah. You know, yeah. So, yeah. 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 so yeah, that's my favorite soup. Also, it, I got a note though, because my mom, you know, used to have a restaurant yeah. when I was growing up, Casino Village Inn, right? So we all worked there. So uh, with that, I learned how to cook. So mm. I'm pretty good at making all all nigerian foods there's oh nothing my God. I can't make. nothing whatsoever i can mm. make it and then even international cuisine because you know when i now traveled i found that oh i could cook because you know back when i was a kid you know they ask you to go buy pepper in the markets mm -hmm. and then you go well why do i have to go now but you would go right and then you come back and they ask you well you need to pound the Probably, pepper yeah. you gotta cut the onions mm -hmm. and then while you're there you're watching these things go on every now and again right and you're not knowing that you're learning how to do it so as soon as i went to america i'm like i was hungry and like i didn't really like their food you know for starters i'm like all right i gotta go cook and then i found myself making stew yeah found myself doing all these things because it was all here you know, so that's my favorite food, uh, soup, uh, and then of course okra soup is like my second yeah. favorite soup. Yeah. Um, but you know, of course, I do have I like American food and you know um, Chinese and all that. But I'm always gonna be very, very partial to my Nigerian food. Oh, that's beautiful. When I went to Ghana, they're trying to talk about oh Ghana jollof rice and all. I say, listen, please, 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 please. Nigerian jollof rice. Nigerians cook way better than anybody else. Everybody, bar none. <laughs> Why not? That's true. Yeah, so that's true. That's, yeah, your that's health. Nice. How do you take care of your health? How yes. do, how often do you go to the hospital? How do you check yes. the system? Oh, I definitely do that. You know, um, every year, and and I work out five days a week. Um, I eat healthy. So speaking about food, mm -hmm. so you got to figure out the right foods to eat, the right um, drinks to have. Yeah, you know, water is always the safest way, way to go. Um, though sometimes we go into all the drinking soda and all that yeah. stuff, but you know, you gotta kind of catch yourself and like, I, I gotta stop it, right? Um, but you know, just 
health is wealth that's really how I see it so being able to take care of yourself and also your mind because your mind is the driver though you know if your mind is not clean and strong and you know don't have the intelligence then your body does not follow mm -hmm. so first off is just to get your mind and then the rest will follow yeah. All right, as we round up the show, um, quickly give your fans words of motivation. Yeah. Straight from e Major's archives. <laughs> Man, my, all my fans out there, I thank you. I appreciate you streaming my songs. You know, please go out there. Uh, e Major underscore official is my social media handle on all the platforms. And like my man, good man here, O'Reilly said, man, the song is out on all the platforms. But, you know, you may be out there and feeling like, all right, man, how do I make it in life? Or you're going through a certain situation and stuff like that. And you're feeling like, man, how do I, or you want to be in music or whatever your gift is, you know. Again, opportunity favors them that are ready. That's it. Keep sharpening your skills. Yeah. Staying on the cutting edge. You know, don't blame anybody for your success or your failure. You know, you are the, you know, you actually, your destiny is in your hands. Whatever you want to do is what it's going to be. All right. Uh, <laughs> from Imager, e he says, opportunity favors those who are ready. And I 100% agree. Not, not those that. who are sitting and waiting for it. Though. Yeah. Mm -mm. When you're ready for something, it means you've put in the work. Right. You know, hard work pays. And a whole lot of you, if you listen to um, the part where we read his biography and profile, you will see he started from the smallest point. But hey, he didn't give up. What did he do? He just tuned himself right. to be a better version. And um, right now, there's nowhere, no club, no party you go for and you don't hear Bolo. That's to tell you that he's been doing so much. I'll tell you something also. Um, all from humble beginnings, he's um, been on the radar of so many artists from Flavor to One the Cole. Yeah. Too much, too much. And so far, so good. He is going to be doing so much as well. Um, he's been on different radio stations, television programs, and um, he's just trying to tell you, E Major is here to stay, and this one is forever. That's We're right. so excited and honored to have you here. Yeah. We hope we're calling you for any purposes or anything <laughs> next time you're going to turn up for us. That's We're right. so honored and maybe are blessed to have you on exactly. the show this morning. We're right. very excited. You sang for Navy, and um, I'm never going to hear the <laughs> last of it. It's it's becoming, I don't know, or maybe mm -hmm. you find a way to cheat into all these men's <laughs> hearts. And you think you get away with it? Get away with it? Oh, if I get away with them. With them? How many can you? <laughs> you have that problem. <laughs> Anyway, um, we still have a major in the studio. We still have Omevi Idol and, of course, O'Reilly Day for you. That's A U R E L W E. We'll go on this quick break. When we come back, it will be time for the second part or the end part of the show. And it's called Celebrity Interest. Don't go far. What's up on Gassi Television? For those of you who are just tuned in, may I reiterate and tell you Bolo, B O L O, by E Major is on all social media outlets, platforms, music, a audio mark boom play apple music anywhere you want to call it, youtube it's there go there stream especially stream download and listen just love good music we'll go straight to celebrity just or maybe dollar will take the first yeah, one yeah i want to be the president of nigeria that's a delusion say praise to god as he makes promise well done no. <laughs> your excellency <laughs> You, you know, he said, as an actor, he said that one of his uh, dreams, one of his aspirations is to become the president of Nigeria. And he prays that, God, uh, no, he made a promise to God that he's going to do better. He's going to be very good to the citizens of Nigeria when he becomes the president. And of course, his followers were like, amen to your prayer. We say amen. Your dreams come true. Amen. And from all of us here, we're also saying, Amen. Shena, <laughs> your dream. Thank you. Oga, keep dreaming. That's what says Nigeria will better. Funke Akimbele and Mr. Easy Motivate fans on Independence Day. Mm. I personally don't want to talk about Nigeria or anything <laughs> independent about you people. Did you see yeah. any protests yesterday? I'm coming in to the studios from Ikeja on that bridge. Yeah, I saw some yesterday. I saw the one at El Reguru well organized. The security agencies were accompanied there because they were not stationed on one spot. They brought bouncer to the yes. one in uh, Ebeda. No. If, if you just do... The one I saw at Ojota... It's not Bondu. 
They will tie you. Uh, the, 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 the security personnel are more than the protesters. <laughs> So we're confused. We don't know. Let us say, government, you will go ahead and bounce up from close. Oh my God! Uh, <laughs> because the empty men, as I was passing, one just looked at me like, the look I gave me was like, I'm not trying to be a protester. I just have to go to work. Please look the other way. <laughs> <laughs> the way they were so built. Yeah. Ah, if you do anyhow, I told you yesterday. Is that ah, you're in the media? You should protest. No, my name is Obi Nakenet. The first three letters, Obi, Obi. J streets, they will throw me inside there. So I'm not following you to do the protest. I do go better than I know. The next one. All right, learn to settle your issues privately. That's Chuwe Talago tells married couple. We've always said that on the show. Don't bring your marital issues to the social media, let, letting everyone know what's up with you. Keep it low. Every marriage, every relationship has its challenges. So you go on, settle it privately. Come on, give us a positive vibe on social media, but please, you see all this buhaha going up and down. This one did this, that one is bedwetting, and that one is not. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to hear that. Settle your issues privately. And of course, we go along with, we agree 100% with Chewy Tabago on this one. The Baba that will give you a, a <laughs> different kind of, uh, what is it called again? <laughs> oh no, Proverbs, if you need Proverbs in this world. Ah, meet him. So if someone like Chewy Tabago can advise you, give it the other side, you should set through your issues privately. You know he's not right. The last but not the least says, I'm set to go on a date with Fina, very dark man. Just I really don't me. like to, um, delve into very black man's issues because anytime we talk about him on the show somebody or some people go on facebook <laughs> yeah and they'll we'll be insulting exactly. us exactly so um but the thing is i still won't back out not what they won't do me now the thing is fina likes to talk mm. very dark man also likes to talk how would their relationship be like no come on Lorelle, it's just a date a date that yeah. leads to something beautiful no not necessarily they they, they has to not necessarily so again, even if they don't they do, be they, they do because they want to chase clouds too <laughs> because why fina and i don't know beautiful things happen to very beautiful people so very dark man with Ishan and Fina too with Gaga. Mm. Two of them. Mm. Anyway, let's see. It's where. just a date. They just want to find out. They just want to go and eat white, uh, no, granite soup or something. They said they were going to make something like that. So it's just a date. And there are two billion people from Edo of State. Of course. So that is why God. What are you going to eat with them? God bless you. All right, that much we can take on the show. It's time to say our goodbye. Yes, thank you very much, Imager, for coming on the show today. We had fun. Thanks like, for having me. You came with so much energy. We appreciate it that thank you. and uh, a very big thank you to you and your viewers for staying tuned tomorrow 10 ah maybe some of you missed it at the beginning of the show don't miss tomorrow yesterday we promised you that we're going to bring tomorrow we are bringing another yeah. so get ready my name is Omevi Idola across our social media platform or maybe it's O-M-E-V-I Idola is I-D-O-L-O-R just write it together any social media platform you're going to send me that to like come your way tomorrow we always say from the studio here that we love you but you should love yourself more bye for now all right what's up on that television i appreciate um a major for coming through with um major performances at the small doctor or more better concert um afro in 2022 and immerse some stellar life festival also with beautiful singles such as enorma goose and gander freaky friday featuring wonderful happiness aladdin featuring peruzzi jara and my soul also having over three million streams across all platforms for goose and ganda one million views on youtube malugo apple music ghana top 100 malugo over 6k videos and 3 million videos on tiktok for malugo over 2 million streams across all platforms for freaky friday featuring randy co and of course over 700k views on youtube for aladdin featuring peruzi this man is super multi duper talented and we're very honored to have him in the studio he's my friend and my brother i'm so excited that he came to honor me as well so this is what i'll tell you drink water and mind the business that concerns you do not ever turn off someone else's light bulb because you want yours to shine the brightest every day every single darn day above six feet is a good day tomorrow 10 a.m to 11 a.m we will bring 
someone else on the show, an A-lister like the one we do have in the studio, um, a legend who has done it just like the man here in the studio. I want to tell you, smile, laugh more often, it hurts your enemies. Follow me on Instagram at official underscore orally, A-U-R-A-L-W-E for anything that concerns your music, promotions, um, EPs, album, whatever I got you guys. I'm also an MC, an MC very beautiful events, weddings, parties, whatever it is. I got you guys covered. Follow, like, share, anything I got on my social media platforms and God will bless you. We'll see you same time tomorrow. It's a program that runs Monday through Friday. Much love, light, God bless. Bye. <laughs>